The Space is a new premium conference speakerphone from Biodynamic, and these are my first impressions. I want to thank Biodynamic for sending me two of these and for sponsoring this video. This one is Nordic Grey, this one is Aquamarine, and the Space is also available in charcoal. The recommended retail price is 179 euros, and that will get you a conference speakerphone with both Bluetooth and USB connectivity. The Space has four microphones that track the speaker in all directions, and it has many other clever features as well. Learn more with the link in the video description. Here's what's in the box. And this packaging, by the way, is eco-friendly with almost no plastic. On top, there is a flyer for the Space, and then we have the conference speakerphone itself. On the left-hand side of the box, we find a USB-C cable. And have a close look at the cable tie around the cable there. That is not your traditional plastic cable tie, and it's also not a rubber band. No, this is an eco-friendly cable tie, and I believe it's made out of paper. Included is also a USB-C to USB-A adapter, which is great for me because my desktop computer only has USB-A ports. This was the top layer, and if you look closely at the near edge of the box, you can see that a portion of the cardboard kind of hangs over the edge, which is an indication that you should lift up this tray for more. And under the tray, we have this drawstring pouch for transportation and storage, plus the instruction manual in multiple languages. You can connect the biodynamic space to a smartphone or to a computer with Bluetooth, or you can use the USB cable to connect it to a computer. And that USB cable also charges the battery in the biodynamic space. Here are the controls starting from the top left and going clockwise. First, we have the battery level button, the Bluetooth button, the mute microphone button, answer call button. Then we have volume up and down. We have a hang up call button and the biodynamic multi-purpose button. Here are two things that you can do with that multi-purpose button straight out of the box. Hold it down for between one and three seconds and it will start your assistant like Siri or the Google Assistant. Play Stream Beats Originals on Spotify. Playing on Spotify. Once you have music or other media playing, press that multi-purpose button once to pause the playback and press it one more time to restart the playback. On the back of the device, we have the power button, the USB-C port, and a place for a Kensington lock. On the underside of the device, there is a tripod mount and a space where you can store a Bluetooth USB dongle. In terms of protection against the elements, the biodynamic space has been certified IP64. That means that it is dustproof, that's the six, and it's also safe from water splashes, that's the four. And that's gonna be great just in case you spill a glass of water on your conference table. Here is what happens when you start the biodynamic space. First, you will get an indication of the battery level with the ring. Battery 80%. Your device is connected. However, it does not tell you to which type of device it has been connected, unlike some other speakerphones, which will announce phone one connected or PC connected, for example. Now let's listen to a test of the microphone and its range at three different distances in this conference room. This is an audio sample of the biodynamic space at approximately one meters distance. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. In this clip, the biodynamic space is connected with Bluetooth this is an audio sample of the biodynamic space at approximately two meters distance. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. In this clip, the space is connected with Bluetooth. 
This is an audio sample of the biodynamic space at approximately four meters distance. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. In this clip, the biodynamic space is connected with Bluetooth. The speaker in the biodynamic space also sounds really good, but that is difficult to illustrate in isolation in this kind of video. I am working on a separate video where I compare the biodynamic space to other competing speaker phones. So make sure that you're subscribed so you get notified when I release that video. The biodynamic space has two cool features when it comes to using it as a speaker. Firstly, you can activate this RGB mode, which will change the coloring of the ring depending on what kind of music you're listening to. There once was a ship that put to sea The name of the ship was the Billy Oti The winds blew harder, bowed it down Below me, bully boys blow And secondly, you can use two of these and connect them together for true wireless stereo. So one of the devices will play the right channel and the other device will play the left channel for you. In terms of first impressions, there are many things to like about the biodynamic space. The microphone quality is brilliant. I tried this in a hybrid meeting and the online audience members were very, very pleased. I like the fact that it comes with USB-A and USB-C straight out of the box. Some other manufacturers, you have to choose which kind of cable you're getting. Many of the parts are replaceable and together with the eco-friendly packaging, this is really, really great from a sustainability point of view. The quality of the speaker is great and particularly for voice, this is excellent. I've also used the speaker and in fact speakers with a true wireless stereo setup to listen to music and to live streams and it sounds good. Another pro is that the design of the speaker phone is quite beautiful. And now over for a few quick cons. Even though the design of the biodynamic space is beautiful, it is not particularly intuitive. The buttons are very small and there is not a lot of differentiation between them. One example is the volume buttons. The design of both of them is very, very similar. And it always takes me a moment to figure out which is which. Because the device is circular and symmetrical, sometimes the volume up button is gonna be on the left-hand side of the device. Sometimes it's gonna be on the right-hand side of the device. A better design choice here would have been to just label them with a big plus and minus. The buttons also lack immediate feedback. Actually, they're not even buttons, they're just touch sensitive areas on the ring here. I wish that they made a little beep when you touch them to confirm that you've actually inputted something. In particular, the multi-purpose button takes almost up to one second until it reacts. This though could be fixed in software just by adding a simple beep. I am looking forward to using the biodynamic space in my future hybrid meetings. Learn more about it with the link in the video description below. And to learn more about audio in hybrid meetings, click or tap the screen right here. In that video, I cover many different ways of setting up audio in your hybrid meetings at different budgets. Thank you for watching. My name is Marcus Seppela. I will see you in the next video.